इंट्रोडक्शन एज वी ऑलरेडी नो दैट बॉडी ऑफ हायर एनिमल्स लाइक मैन इज फॉर्म ऑफ अ नंबर ऑफ ऑर्गन सिस्टम यस सम ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल्स आर डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम सर्क्यूलेटरी सिस्टम एक्सक्रेटरी सिस्टम एक्सेट्रा so we can say that each system is specialized to do a specific function such as nutrition digestion respiration transport of materials excretion respectively in each system all the organs work together so that whole of the system can work properly yes in other words we can say that all the organs of a system coordinate with each other so that the system can work properly coordination is the working together of the various organs in a systematic manner so as to produce a proper reaction to the stimulus as we already know that something is called living when a movement is observed in it this movement can be due to growth as in plants a seed germinates and grows this movement in plants is stopped after a particular time yes on the other hand in animals and some plants these movements are not connected with growth some examples of it are running of a dog playing football of children and chewing cud of cows these movements are not related to growth if we analyze these movements we find a reason behind each and every movement the dog may be running because it has seen a cat children play to have pleasure cows chew cud to help break up tough food so as to be able to digest it better objectives at the end of this lesson you'll be able to understand coordination in animals and plants find out what is stimulus Find out nervous coordination in lower animals. Understand nervous coordination in higher animals. Find out the unit of nervous system, neuron. Find out types of neurons. Find out types of nerve fibers. Understand nervous system of man. Understand structure and functions of central nervous system, human brain. find out structure and functions of spinal cord understand structure and functions of peripheral nervous system find out structure and functions of autonomic nervous system understand reflex actions stimulus while playing football there is coordination between eyes for observation of ball brain for analyzing these observation and muscles for giving proper response and movement to the ball thus we can say that every living organism respond and react to changes in the surroundings the changes in the environment to which the organisms respond and react are called stimuli stimulus are of two types external stimulus and internal stimulus external stimulus is due to environmental factors like heat light sound water wind etc internal stimulus occurs within the organism it may be due to hormones acids enzymes etc present within the organism coordination in animals in all the animals belonging to coelent trait to mammalia multicellular control and coordination of body function is enabled by specialized cells called neurons in higher metazoans these neurons or nerve cells are organized to form a nervous system in animals belonging to arthropoda to mammalia there is endocrine system also in addition to nervous system the nervous and endocrine systems are collectively called neuroendocrine system nervous coordination in lower animals in coelent traits nervous system is of diffused type examples hydra in platyhelminthes ladder type nervous system is present examples tapeworm 
liver fluke, etc. In analytes, a well-organized centralized nervous system is present. This consists of a circumpharyngeal nerve ring and a nerve cord. In arthropoda, centralized nervous system like analytes is present, but their nerve ring is circumesophageal. Nervous coordination in higher animals. In higher organisms, three types of systems coordinate with one another to control and coordinate the body functions. They are receptor systems, nervous system, effector system. Receptor systems is formed of receptors or sense organs. These receptors are made up of highly specialized cells which receive stimuli and change them into appropriate nerve impulse which are carried to CNS by nerve fibers of sensory nerves. Receptors are of six main types. Photoreceptors for light located in eyes. Phonoreceptors for sound located in internal ears. Olfactor receptors for smell located in nasal chambers. Gustatoreceptors for taste located in taste buds on tongue. Tango receptors for touch located in skin. Thermoreceptors for changes in temperature located in skin. Nervous system analyzes the sensory nerve impulses and initiates the appropriate motor nerve impulses which are carried to appropriate effector organ by nerve fibers of motor nerves. Effector system is formed of effector organs which include muscles and glands and give the response. Example, contraction or relaxation of muscles and switch on or switch off of glandular secretion. Nervous system of man. The function of nervous system is to coordinate the activities of our body. It is the control system of all our actions, thinking and behavior. The nervous system helps all other systems of our body to work together. The human nervous system receives information from the surroundings, processes it, interprets it and then responds accordingly. The nervous system also passes information from one internal system to another. Example, as soon as we put food in our mouth, it immediately causes the release of saliva from the salivary gland. Human nervous system is composed of three parts. Central nervous system, CNS, peripheral nervous system, PNS, autonomic nervous system, ANS. Neuron. The units which make up the nervous system are called nerve cells or neurons. Neuron is a functional and structural unit of nervous system. A neuron is a nerve cell with all its branches. Neuron is the longest cell in the human body and is about 100 cm long. A neuron is formed of three parts. Cyton, dendrites, axon. Cyton. Cyton is a typical animal cell type structure which contains cytoplasm and a nucleus. It is spherical in shape and about 4 to 135 mu meter. It has a granular cytoplasm called neuroplasm which is enclosed by cell membrane called neurolemma. It also has a large spherical and centric nucleus with a nucleus. It has all cell organelles like mitochondria, ER, Golgi bodies, lysosomes, ribosomes, etc. It has also a number of small sized granules, Nissel's granules, which help in protein synthesis. Dendrites. Dendrites are small sized branched fibers, many in number. They conduct stimuli to its cell body, hence called afferent in nature. Axon. Axon is actually the largest cell in the body. They are long-sized fibers. They are unbranched and only one in number. They conduct stimuli from cell body to its other neurons, hence it is called 
efferent in nature. They have one or two additional covering. Myelin sheath, squant sheath. Myelin sheath around the axon is an insulating and protective sheath. At certain places, myelin sheath is absent and that area is known as node of Ranvia. A squant sheath covers whole of the axon. It also covers myelin sheath. Axon bears terminal and fibers which end into synaptic knobs. Types of neurons On the basis of their functions, neurons are of three types. Sensory, association, relaying, motor. Sensory neurons are found in sense organs. Association, relying neurons are found in brain and spinal cord. Motor neurons are also found in brain and spinal cord. Functions of neurons. Sensory neurons conduct nerve impulse from sense organs to the central nervous system. That is, brain and spinal cord. Relaying neuron is present in the CNS, receives these stimuli brought by sensory neurons, analyzes it, interpret it, and produces a message. Motor neurons conduct this message from CNS to the effectors. Central nervous system, human brain, consists of brain and spinal cord in animals. All life activities are under control of the brain. Human brain. Brain is a soft, whitish, large and slightly flattened structure present in the cranial cavity of cranium. Weight of brain is about 1200 to 1400 gram. Human brain is covered with three meninges or membranes. Pi is inner meninges. Arachnoid is middle meninges and dura matter is outer meninges. The space between membranes is filled with cerebrospinal fluid. Brain has gray matter outside and white matter inside. Parts of brain. Human brain has three parts. Forebrain, midbrain, hindbrain. Forebrain is anterior, two-third part of brain. It is main thinking part of brain. It has three parts. Olfactory lobe are one pair small sized club shaped. Cerebrum is the largest part of brain and forms about 80% of weight of brain. It has one pair of cerebral hemisphere. Each has four lobes, frontal lobe, parietal lobe, temporal lobe and occipital lobe. Diencephalon is made of thalamus and hypothalamus. Midbrain is formed of two parts. Optic lobes, cerebral peduncles. Hindbrain also has three parts. Cerebellum, pons, medulla oblongata. Functions of different parts of human brain are as given in this table. Spinal cord. Spinal cord controls the reflex actions and conducts messages between different parts of the body and brain. Peripheral nervous system. Peripheral nervous system consists of nerves arising from the brain, cranial nerves, and nerves arising from the spinal cord, spinal nerves. It assists in transmitting information between central nervous system and the rest of the body. Autonomic nervous system. Autonomous nervous system, parasympathetic and sympathetic system. Involuntary activities like breathing and beating of heart take place by the coordinated efforts of the medulla oblongata and autonomous nervous system. Reflex actions. When a receptor is stimulated, it sends a signal to the central nervous system where the brain coordinates the response. But sometimes a very quick response is needed, one that does not need the involvement of the brain. This is a reflex action. Reflex actions are rapid 
and happen without us thinking. Example, you would pull your hand away from a hot flame without thinking about it. The process is as follows. A receptor detects a stimulus. This is indicated by the red on the hand. A sensory neuron sends a signal to the relay neuron. Then relay neuron sends the signal to the motor neuron. Then motor neuron sends a signal to the effector. Then effector produces a response. As a result, the hand is pulled away quickly. Assessment Before proceeding further, let us know how much have you learned. Drag and drop the correct option. Did you know? Brain is the highest coordination center in human body. Hypothalamus is commonly known as thermostat of the body. Meningitis is the inflammation of meningeal membranes. Cerebellum is also known as little brain. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Control and coordination are the functions of the nervous system and hormones in human body. The responses of the nervous system can be classified as reflex action, voluntary action or involuntary action. The nervous system uses electrical impulses to transmit messages. The nervous system gets information from our sense organs and acts through our muscles. Chemical coordination is seen both in plants and animals. Hormones produced in one part of an organism move to another part to achieve the desired effect. A feedback mechanism regulates the action of hormones.